What's up guys, ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, Data here with another gameplay. And this is going to be a really good gameplay, in my opinion. I hope y'all like that MOAB, MOAB, whatever it was, yeah, whatever you want to call it, that I put up yesterday. Um, this gameplay is going to talk about uh, Black Ops 2 multiplayer reveal. In case you didn't know, it has been revealed as of today, um, August 7th, 2012. Uh, I don't remember if Modern Warfare 3 was released this early last year or not. I don't think it was. But I'm psyched. I've already watched it. And it looks it looks awesome. It looks amazing. Um, so, you can go check it out on the Call of Duty channel. Uh, it's Like I said, I hope y'all are going to enjoy it. It's really good. Um, we'll get back to this gameplay real quick. I'm playing with a War Snacker on this one. Um, AKA Matt. And, uh... This game is filled with a bunch of multi kills, double kills, triple kills. It's just an amazing gameplay. Look at that. That was a double that was a double kill feed, but wasn't a double kill. Anyways, um I go sixty nine and fourteen and we win the game. Um I get the kill streaks fairly early in this game. As you can see, I've almost got it now. And I mean I just go to town on these people. Uh but like I was saying about the about Modern Warfare I mean, Black Ops 2, it looks it looks awesome. It really does. In my opinion, it's going to be the best game of the year, hands down. Black Ops was definitely the best game of the year. It's best Call of Duty game, um, period. I don't know if Black Ops 2 will be better. You know, I uh, hope it is. I hope Black Ops 2 is a lot better than Black Ops 1, because the kill streaks do look phenomenal. I think a lot of people are going to get mad because it seems to have like a robot thing in there. And it looks like it's going to be OP, but I don't think it will be because a rocket launcher so like they're just taking things down faster than you can put them up, which is the same thing as here in Modern Warfare 3. And in a way that's bad, in a way that's good. Um, and there's also some pretty crazy looking kill streaks. Like one of the things I saw was there's this one kill streak they put up that uses sound, and it like disorients your your character. So I don't know. I think I'm interested to see that because I think they're going to be keeping the um, the support stuff like support specialists and uh, then assault. I think they're going to keep that because you know Modern Warfare 3 did a good job on implementing that. I just hope the support really doesn't kill anybody because that is just annoying. I also hope their spawns isn't crap like that. What just happened? The guy spawns and runs and throws a grenade. The maps are so small. I'm just Black Ops is theory on grenades. You can't throw it across the map. I really do. Anyways, uh, I know we're being double. Um, we're being double capped. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we're playing with Matt on this one, and we go to town on them. Um, back to talking about Black Ops 2. Uh, one of the other kill streaks I saw was, like I said, the robot thing. Whew, man, it looks awesome. It looks awesome to me. Uh, that's probably gonna be definitely one of the things that I'm going to be using. I bet that's going to be like their highest kill streak. I would hope they bring dogs back, cause that that was really my favorite kill streak of all time. Um, that's just what I'm hoping. Look, I'm able to get one of my kill streaks out of it. It's pretty cool. It's not very often that I get to. Actually, it's not even very often that I call it where my teammates can get it anymore. Usually, I call it off the map, cause I don't want the the enemy to get them because the teammates don't usually get my kill streaks, cause it's a bunch of garbage. Um, so. I think it'd be kind of cool if they brought back dogs because you know dogs are always going to be around. Uh, also interested to see where the horses come into play. Right there, I start off with a multi kill, killing almost the whole team. I think. Um, here I got a double kill, and yeah, the other multi kill is going to be coming up pretty soon. It would be cool if horses were involved in mon like in in the multiplayer. Anyway, I think it'd be kind of stupid, but in a way, it could be cool. Like. I don't know, be a change. Uh, like, attack horses. That might sound interesting to me. Attack horses. So, um, what else can we talk about? <coughs> Guess we can say that, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm so eager for this game, and it's only a couple months away. It's not even that far away. Like, that's, that's awesome to me to think about is that Black Ops 2 is just around the corner. Because, you know, the, 
Everybody's wanting to see Black Ops 2 stuff. They're not wanting to see Modern Warfare 3 stuff anymore. Black Ops 2 is where it's at. They want to hear information about it. They want to see revealing stuff about it. They they want people ready to see it. People getting so tired about Modern Warfare 3 because it's starting to become stale. But I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. I bet when Black Ops 2 comes out, everybody's going to say it's a garbage game and that Modern Warfare 3 was better and Modern Warfare 3 was the best game that ever came out. I'm making that prediction now that everybody's going to say that. And I'm going to honestly say you're not going to hear that from me. You're not going to hear me say Modern Warfare 3 was the best game, period. Now, you might hear me say Modern Warfare 3 is better than Black Ops 2 because, you know, Black Ops 2 could be garbage. It actually could be. There is that possibility. Um, I highly doubt it, and I, it's highly unlikely, because Treyarch's really good at balancing their weapons and making it where it's fair, when Infinity Ward's not. Uh, to me, Infinity Ward aims their game at the noobs. Well, basically all Treyarch and Infinity Ward aim their games at the uh, the noobs. And veteran players don't get rewarded for anything that they do at all, and I, I don't like that. I dislike that completely. And I think if you're going to make a game, it needs to aim at both. It needs to be a neutral. And when I say that the aim for the uh, the the noobs and not for their veteran players, think like you know, Dead Man's Hand, uh, Second Chance, Final Stand, um, the Death Period. You shouldn't be rewarded for dying. You absolutely should not be rewarded for dying. Um, Support having like kill streaks in it that can kill. That you shouldn't have that after you told me we shouldn't, we weren't going to have that. See things like that. Like I could keep going on about how this game or any Call of Duty game adds up to supporting the noobs, and I, and I don't think they should. If you're, you know, you get good with with practice. Okay. Um, also. I read that they're going to have this uh, new skill matchmaking thing to where you play against more people that's based around your skill. Um, honestly, what I think about that is I don't think it's going to be like a Halo thing. Uh, Call of Duty and Activision make their money, most a lot of their money, off of commentators. And commentators like me get their gameplays by stomping on kids who don't know what they're doing. Honestly, I mean, if anybody knows what they're doing, you're not going to drop 69 to 14 against people who know what they're doing. It's, just, it's not going to happen. It's not. If these people knew what they were doing, I wouldn't. It's rocket launchers. That's another noob thing, by the way. If these kids knew what they were doing, this gameplay would never happen. I would have never got a 17 kill streak. So, my opinion on that is, I don't think it's going to be what everybody thinks it's going to be. If they do even implement it. I do believe, like, you'll be playing against some people that's around your skill, or it's going to be more team. Like it's gonna be more based off teams. Like you're gonna be putting teams that you will benefit to make it harder for you to win. But you're not gonna be placed against people who have better skill than you. I think it's gonna place you in games like it did in Black Ops that you're gonna benefit. Like you're gonna benefit the team. And I think that's happening here in Modern Warfare 3 now. At least for me, is I'm putting in games where I get lo where I lose all the time because they look at my stats and they figure I can pull the team up. That's just my assumption. It might be a you know a long stretch because it's you know Modern Warfare 3. They didn't put much thought in the game. It seemed like anyways because you know it's it's Modern Warfare 2, but it's an upgrade. Um, but anyways, this game is starting to wrap up. Um, remember to go check out that video. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about it, what you're most excited to see, and Black Ops 2. And remember to rate, subscribe, comment, favorite, like, and have a nice day. Peace.